So this is our last morning here in Chenggu. This is the first day that we've woken up not knowing where we're going to be at the end of the day. Um, kind of exciting, kind of crazy and <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> We had planned to uh, fly to Surabaya Airport um, and then go to Mount Bromo um, and hike uh, an active volcano there. Um, the problem is, is that it just recently erupted. We've pretty much decided we're just not going to board those flights because if we can't uh, hike the volcano, it's not really worth uh, taking the trip out for the things that we wanted to see. Eventually we'll do that again, but um, we're kind of thinking about moving on to Nusa Penida and uh, exploring that for a few days and then maybe heading to Ubud after that. Um, and hopefully we can grab some places last minute because uh, we have about three hours left to this Airbnb before we have to check out. And we haven't packed yet, uh, so we have to figure out where we're headed next. So it's nice in Bali, this is the first uh, place we've been that they've had child-sized helmets. So finally we have helmets for everybody to stay safe. Mommy? Yeah? I love pink, so we're going to a pink red one. Awesome. Champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins. I'm my worst enemy. But I've still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Chloe, what are you going to get? Pancakes! So we've come to uh, Lola Shaking All Day, which is uh, my personal favorite uh, restaurant. I think it's uh, Chloe's and Alexa's favorite restaurant too, uh, because the whole thing is pink. Um, they have the best smoothies, um, they've got pancakes, which we're going to uh, indulge in. Um, it's definitely one of the most popular places to come, um, evidenced by the fact that there's currently like a video shoot going on. I have no idea what's going on here but uh, they are taking selfies with this puppet and it's rather hilarious. Some sort of very weird music video with uh, three models and one puppet but uh, it's kind of entertaining for our breakfast. So we love this place. The food is absolutely delicious. Um, they have you pick three different things off the menu for um, $3. for about three dollars. Yeah, it's really delicious, and everything we've gotten so far has just been so good. We need to head back soon because we have to check out of our Airbnb in an hour. We're not quite packed up yet, and we haven't had gotten a confirmation from our place that we want to stay tonight. So we're kind of homeless right now. It'll be interesting to see if we can have a place to sleep tonight. I'm sure we'll find something. And I guess we still have to figure out how to get a boat ride over to Nusa Penita. Um, but we'll just, we're planning on just heading to the port and seeing if we can figure that out. There you go, buddy. Mama. We had to pick up our laundry we had done. There are lots of places everywhere you can send your laundry and they'll do it for pretty cheap, um, which is awesome for me because I hate doing laundry. Uh, some of our Airbnbs have a washer and dryer, or washer, never dryer, washer. This one didn't, so we just had to send it away this time. So we just started picking it up and then heading back to our apartment to get packed up and head on our way. So we got back from breakfast to find out that they canceled the uh, request because they don't have any availability tonight. Uh, I guess that happens sometimes. They say they, their calendar is uh, available. They had plenty of rooms. They actually had said they had four rooms and in fact they didn't have any. Um, so we requested to stay at another place. Um, we will see if they confirm for us. Um, otherwise we are literally uh, 
packing up, literally packing up right now to leave, uh, checking out, um, and we may just head to Nusa Panita uh, without a house to stay in yet. <laughs> All right, so we're hopping in the car. Um, we don't have tickets to the boat yet, and uh, we won't be able to make it in time to the ferry um, that we are trying to get to. Um, so we're hoping our driver can help us out, but we will see what happens here. Bisa siapin aku tiket untuk empat orang, dua dewasa, dua anak, dan nanti tolong kamu kamu cariin hotel di Nusa Panida. Mereka di so on these narrow uh, streets, everyone plays chicken and see who can go first because you can't fit two cars at one time. <laughs> you pull your mirrors in and uh, whoever is the bravest gets through first. I already felt one motorcycle scrape the car. Hey, we got a, a house. We're good. Yay! So finally got a house to stay in. Uh, the first two or three attempts all canceled on us. Um, their calendar said they were available, but in the end they weren't. Um, our driver was kind enough to help us get some uh, boat tickets. So we are headed to the Sonora port uh, to take a fast boat. What they got from me? Alright, so we made it to the port. Most people say don't bring a lot of luggage. Um, actually keep your hotel um, wherever you're staying in Depensar or our surrounding area and leave a lot of luggage there. We failed. We have everything. We brought so much stuff. Um, we're gonna be in Nusa Panita for uh, three or four days um, and we keep, seem to be accumulating things, um, awkwardly shaped things like yoga mats. <laughs> And Chloe yeah, is sleeping. and Chloe's sleeping. She fell asleep on the ride, so I'm hoping she'll sleep until we get on the boat, and then she'll be a happy girl when we get there. And it's 12:50, which is uh, when we were supposed to be boarding our flight to East Java. <laughs> uh, but all plans have changed. It's rice. Rice? Yeah. Do you want to eat some? Uh huh. So we found some cool takeaway food, a uh, little rice uh, chicken mixture mixed up and uh, wrapped in a banana leaf. What are you going to say? <laughs> so we just saw a man that was going into the water stripped down and it was very strange because there was a lot of people around and he had a speedo on so it didn't seem necessary and then we realized he was sitting down in the water to relieve himself <laughs> in front of everyone. He just very confidently walked out into the ocean, stripped his speedo off, and then he's now squatting. And he's looking around at all the people who are watching him. And he's taking his sweet time. He's been there for like two minutes now. <laughs> and I admire his confidence. <laughs> So we're getting on the boat here, um, but it's about waist deep in water you have to tread out. Um, and we're not exactly uh, packed for that. Um, we have all our suitcase, all our luggage. Um, we're gonna get soaked getting out of the boat, but they can't get any closer apparently. You know, I've always had issues with being short. This is one of the uh, issues with being five foot, t five foot feet tall. We have too much luggage. Oh, hey look, there's our luggage. Why am I so short? <laughs> Alright, Alexa. So it's been an adventurous uh, couple of hours. Um, we got off the boat. It took us a long time to get here by boat. Um, first the, they had engine trouble, then they had trouble fitting everyone off the boat and getting onto the island. Um, in the chaos of all of it, I of course forgot a bag. Um, so then we've uh, spent the last little bit um, trying to call people and figure out how we can get the bag back. Um, we checked into our house, which is lovely, looks over a uh, beautiful uh, valley, and uh, the sun is setting right now, it's super nice. Uh, but it's kind of been a long process to figure out how to get the bag. Um, so getting ready to rent a scooter, drive back, and try to get that bag back. Uh, we were hoping to do clinking tonight, uh, but the, by the time I get back it'll be dark. Um, so we will do that first thing tomorrow morning, and uh, really looking forward to that.